Um, the increase of wealth income ratio, uh, national wealth income ratio in China is mainly driven by the uh, increase of the private wealth. And the share of public wealth in the national wealth has been decreasing from uh, 1978 to uh, 2015 from the level of uh, about 70% to 30%. China nowadays is not a communism uh, country anymore, and the main part of, of the economy is owned by the private sector. Uh, if we use the survey data to measure the inequality, income inequality in China, and uh, then the income inequality in China is lower than Denmark, which is not the reality of China. Uh, which uh, shows necessary for us to correct the income inequality estimation using the tax data. The income inequality in China used to be lower than France, and of course lower than the United States. Now it's higher than France and uh, reaching to the United States. Based on our estimation, the uh, the for China, the average growth rate for the total population is 6.4%, uh, and, um, and for the bottom 50 is 4.5%, and the top one is 8.4%, which means the gap in the last 40 years has been uh, between the rich, uh, high income and low income groups uh, has been increasing. However, the low income groups, the, their absolute income also has been increasing quite fast. Right? And the, the situation in the United States is the, for the whole population, the uh, growth rate is in the last 40 years is 1.3%. The bottom 50 growth rate is zero. And the uh, top 1% growth rate is 3%, uh, 3 which means also the, the gap between rich and poor is increasing. But the absolute income for the poor group, bottom 50s, hasn't been changed in the last 40 years. And in Russia, the situation is even worse. But the average growth rate for the total population is 1.1% in the last, uh, since 1978. Um, and the bottom 50, the growth rate of bottom 50% uh, percent is negative negative 0.5% uh, in the last uh, 40 years and, and the, the top 1% uh, percent, the growth rate of top 1% is uh, something like uh, 8 or 9 percent so which means in the last 40 years this is very serious to, for the bottom 50 percent uh, this group of people in Russia their absolute income didn't increase at all and they decreased the money What uh, I suggest uh, to the government is more transparency for the data, tax data, survey data, so that the research, not only the researchers can use this data to do research and measure the inequality in a good way, but also the policy makers can understand the inequality situation better in China. And also uh, for media and uh, the, uh, the general public, they also can understand what actually affects the inequality, uh, which is a very important uh, basic uh, question in their own life, and how to improve it. Mm -hmm.